Hi, my name is Angela Mancy, and I study microbiology at the University of California, Riverside. You've probably heard about your microbiome, that you have microbes living on and inside your body that are helping you to stay alive. But did you know that plants have a microbiome as well? These are cowpeas. Cowpeas produce seed pods, which are full of beans that we can cook and eat. But the real magic happens underground. This soil is full of rhizobia, bacteria which take nitrogen from the ground and turn it into the type of nitrogen plants need to grow. Rhizobia and cowpea roots send signals to each other, like a secret handshake. If the handshake works, rhizobia actually go inside the roots and set up shop in these tiny knobs called nodules. Rhizobia and cowpeas often work in mutualistic symbiosis, meaning they live together and help one another to survive. Rhizobia feed plants with nitrogen, and plants feed them back with carbon. Having the right kind of rhizobia in your field is really important if you want to grow cowpeas or other legumes like peas, beans, or soy. But it's especially important if you want to use less fertilizer. When we add fertilizer to the soil, it changes the types of microbes that grow there. The microbes that feed on fertilizer release a greenhouse gas called nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide is bad news. It contributes to climate change and it depletes the ozone layer. So the less fertilizer we use, the better it is for the planet. And in the case of plants like cowpeas, if they can get the nitrogen they need from rhizobia, then we won't need to use nitrogen fertilizer. They'll have what they need already in the soil. So how can we make sure we have the right kind of rhizobia in our field? The field where I'm standing right now is full of rhizobia, but that's not necessarily true for the fields nearby. See, in this field, researchers at UCR have been growing cowpea for over a decade. But in this field across the way, we've never grown cowpea before. And there's a lot less rhizobia in the soil. So what's the best way to help this field catch up? Well, that's one of the things that I'm testing right now. The cowpea in this field had their seeds coated with different kinds of rhizobia before we planted them. These plants were treated with soil from the other field, since we know that soil has rhizobia in it. These plants were treated with specific strains of rhizobia, like the one I'm holding here, which we got from cowpea roots. And these plants were treated with rhizobia from an agricultural company. We've been letting the plants grow for a few months now. About a month ago, we dug up some of the plants to see which ones had the most nodules, since that would tell us how much rhizobia is getting into the roots. Now, we're letting the plants grow a little more so we can eventually measure which ones grew the best. Finding ways to use and improve the bacteria in our soils could help us to produce more crops and use less fertilizer, which would be good for us, for growers, and for the planet. That's the power of science. I'd like to thank the sponsors on screen for sponsoring this video, as well as SciComm at UCR for offering training and opportunities to students interested in science communication. If you'd like to learn more about my lab, you can visit us at sacslab.com. Thanks.